Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. So today's video is going to be showing you guys how to achieve this gorgeous gel polish 3D nails and these were all done at home and I achieved this all of this for about price of $20 or less than £15 using the products because of the products I purchased and I'm going to be featuring the famous Madame Glam gel polishes. I received these polishes from her and these polishes are absolutely gorgeous. I love them for the fact that they last me for over two weeks without chipping. So if you want to see how I achieved what I showed you just now then please stay tuned. Now please don't laugh but this is how my nail looks because I bite them. I'm not proud of it but then sorry and I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this from that. So next I'm going to show you guys the products that I use. Starting with false nails because I don't have really long nails so I have to make do with what I have and these are false nails. I got this whole bag of over 100 nails for like one pound or less and alternatively you can use this if you can't get your hands on that. These also come with like 100 tips or so which are really good. You need nail glue. You also need nail file of any type. I have so many types here but you can use any of them. You need acrylic liquid and gel uh, acrylic powders. Either the white one that, that we're going to use for the 3D effect or the clear ones that is going to give you the natural finish. You also need a buffer. You would need a cutting tool so it could be the scissors or this thing. I don't know the name but it does a good job at cutting my nails. You also need acetone that's a polish remover or a UV gel and a UV gel remover because we're going to be working with both. You need a cotton pad or cotton wool for that. You need a little container to pour the acrylic liquid into when working. You need a cuticle pusher. I think that's the name but this is like my pincher stroke cuticle pusher. You need tissue paper and uh, makeup remover and I'll show you guys why you need this too later on. You need brushes because you can't work with acrylic liquid and powders without brushes so you need a good one, very fairly good one and these cost me, bear in mind everything I've shown you cost me for like one pound or less. You also need this for making the whole nail look beautiful like designs and all of that and then you need LED lamp and this was given to me by Madame Glam like I showed you guys and I also bought this fuse or adapter to make it work for me since the UK style doesn't allow that kind of fuse. Then you're going to need some glitters and these cost me for like 99p and you're going to need gel polishes both the base, the top coat and the two colors we're going to be using and all these were sent to me by Madame Glam. Thank you so much. Finally you're going to be needing cuticle oil and this is going to bring back life to your nails. So I'm going to start by filing my own nails and doing this gently, I don't want to hurt myself. Next I'm taking a cuticle pusher and pushing my cuticles back so that it would help make my nails stick better and not lift. I guess that's what it does, but that's what I do. Next I'm going to gather around the things I'm going to be needing, so the glues and the false nails. And these nails have numbers from 1 to 9. 9 being the smallest and 1 being the biggest so I always I already know the numbers that fit for each nail so I just pick them out. I apply glue directly to the nail and then stick them to the nail that it fits best. But I'm going to make sure that I'm not starting from the very root of my nail. I'm going to keep some sort of space there and I'll show you guys why later on. And this is what it looks like when I'm done with all of them. I wish you guys can see the space that I told you guys to leave before. Now, I forgot to mention this too, but this is like my own personal buffing kit and all of that. I got this for like £20, um, so if you can't afford it, then please stick to nail files. But this, I, afford, I could afford it, so I bought it and this does an awesome job for me when I'm too lazy to use a nail file. And as you guys can see me showing you side by side, you can use the nail file or you can use this. So I'm going to turn it on right now and I'm going to use it to buff my nail. As you guys can see me doing, I'm trying to make sure that it looks like the nail is actually my own nail. So I'm buffing the harsh line that the nail creates the demarcation so that it has a smooth flow. Next, I'm going to take some of my makeup remover wipes. I, now you guys can see what I'm using it for and dust off any particles because I don't want to be working with particles else, else you have air bubbles in whatever you apply. Now I'm taking the acrylic liquid and powder and this is a clear acrylic powder and I'm going to be applying this to the nail and this is going to help the nail last longer on my own hand since I have short nail bed I wouldn't want when I hit my hand on something it trips off or uproots itself which could be quite painful so I'm putting this acrylic nail to serve as a second hold between the nail 
by pushing the nail to my own nail bed sorry <clears throat> making sure that the nail doesn't lift as you guys can see me doing i'll dip my brush into the acrylic um liquid and then take a little bit of the powder and then smooth out the acrylic powder and liquid over my nail and i'm applying this basically concentrating on that space i asked you guys to leave before and this is because i wanted it not to go to the root of my nail so that in case the nail is going to be there for a long while it's going to give it space to grow now this is what the finished product looks like i've finished applying the acrylic powder and liquid all over the five fingers and as you guys can see there is no demarcation or sign that it's not my nail it looks natural to an extent yay now i'm going to buff or file lightly on the acrylic powder because it might be uneven and i want it to be even so i started with the buffer but then i said i might as well just show you guys how i do that using the normal nail file remember you want to go lightly with this whole thing don't you don't want to injure yourself so don't go too harsh on it make sure you're light-handed when buffing or filing your nails now i'm starting off with a base gel from madame glam and i'm going to be shaking this first to make sure that it doesn't have any build up inside since i've been using this for about three months now she sent this to me about three months ago i'm sorry this video is coming now but i had to enjoy this before showing you guys so i apply this first to all of the nails because i need to protect my nails after which i'm going to be placing my fingers under the led lamp that was provided to me by madame glam and i'm going to cure my nail i believe that's what it's called curing my nail I'm going to cure it for about one minute for each finger so four of my my four fingers can enter at once but my thumb cannot enter so i go in turns i place the four fingers first after one minute after it's cured for like a minute i'm going to now place the thumb only under the led lamp next i'm going to be using the second color which is a yellow color i know it's yellow but trust me it's, you can see what it looks like on my other hand and I'm going to be applying this to just the first and second finger. I already did my right hand and trust me guys, it's quite hard to do my right hand, not to talk of a few minutes or doing it under the camera. So I already did it off camera and I'm curing it for like two minutes each. Next, I'm going to be applying this gorgeous emerald green gel polish. You guys have seen me use this in my emerald green video. I showed you guys the polish there which inspired my look for that day. So I'm going to be applying this to my middle finger as well as my ring finger. Excuse if it's not neat, but uh, yeah, I'm an amateur. So I'm applying two coats of that and then curing it all at once. I'm going to be applying just two coats of everything. You guys can see it's quite opaque. It's not light and transparent and all of that. So I don't need more than two coats for now. Now that I'm done with that, I think I missed cleaning the edges so please make sure that you're very careful when applying it so that you don't go onto the edges or the skin or you get the uv gel remover and a q-tip and clean the edges so that you can have a smooth looking work i'm applying just one coat of the top coat on all the fingers that i have painted with the gel polish and then i'm going to be curing them for about two minutes now I'm going to repeat the curing process and I'm going to cure it like I said for two minutes after which when I'm done I'm going to take my makeup remover and then clean wipe off the sticky layer because once you're done curing it and you touch your nail it can be quite sticky but not to worry you can use I many people use different things but I like to use my makeup remover simply because it's at home and I don't have to spend money buying any other thing to remove it so once I'm done this is what you're going to have so for the last finger I'm going to be using glitter for it first I'm going to be applying um, nail glue over the finger next I'm going to be pouring the glitter um, I placed my hand over a board so that I can catch the excess glitter and pour it back into the tube but I'm going to be pouring the glitter on top of the nail then I'm going to press the glitter down with my fingers so I'm going to be doing a repeat process of pour and then press so this is going to make sure that I coat everywhere and it's full. Next, I'm going to take the clear acrylic powder and liquid and then I'm going to coat the entire nail. I'm sorry if I'm out of focus, but it's quite hard doing this in camera, especially because I'm an amateur and I want to be close to what I'm doing. Now to add an extra um, to the other nails, especially the yellow ones, I'm going to be taking some little studded I don't know what to call them but they are studs and then I'm going to be using a very tiny bead of the acrylic powder very very tiny so this is going to hold these studs and as you guys have seen I'm placing the studs directly on my 
finger so I'm going to place a tiny bit of acrylic then place the stud and this is what you should have when you're done very simple very easy now for the star of the show I already did one finger of camera so I'm going to focus on the other one I'm going to dip my brush in the liquid and then take a small bit of the acrylic powder this is the white acrylic powder and I'm going to be wiping my brush as we go this is why I needed the tissue in the first place I have the imagination of wanting to create flowers so I'm going to be creating the petals and that is by placing a bead separating it into an inverted moon like shape and then pressing making sure my brush is as thin and as straight as possible then pressing it down into the bead when this is almost dry and this is going to create petals and I'm going to keep repeating that in this in any pattern that I want because you have to be creative with this whatever design you want is up to you totally Then next I'm going to take some nail shakara thing and I'm going to place that in the middle and then I'm going to create the illusion of real fake flower in the middle as you guys can see green to go with the nail now for the final nail now that it's dry I allowed it to dry while I was doing the other nail so I'm buffing it now I tried to use this but it was not um, what's the word now it wasn't so much comfortable for me doing it in camera because I have to be close to what I'm doing like I said so at some point I had to switch to my normal nail file to enable me to do this in camera or on camera and then like I had to go a little bit harder than I would normally file and that is going to help me file properly because I don't I'm not gonna feel anything since it's all acrylic like hard then once I'm done with the filing I'm going to take my buffer and then buff it and this buffer helps to smooth out the whole Thin and make it look smooth and nice and this is the finished product then I'm going to take my clear gel, my gel polish the top coat and apply it all over the nail and then cure it for about two minutes so the final process is to apply this cuticle oil I got mine in Dubai so please don't ask me where I got it but trust me this cuticle oil is the best I've ever used it smells heavenly and I'm applying it to my cuticles after which I'm going to be rubbing it in and this is going to bring back um, moisture or life to your cuticle because the whole gel polish LED lamp everything is going to dry up your cuticles and you don't want that so it's more like adding nutrients back to your nail so I just rub it in and I'm done and this is what the final product looks like it's not that perfect but um, it's my first time and I think I did a pretty good job for a first timer so if you like this video and you want to see more more DIY videos from me then please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and yeah show me some love by leaving me a comment tell me what you think about my DIY stuff so I'm showing you guys again the package that was sent to me by Madame Glam I was sent a mini LED lamp I was sent the gel polishes and I was sent both the top and base coat and Mother Glam has been so gracious enough to offer one of my subscribers for free all of the gel polishes she sent to me. I think one was missing but that was what she sent to me to give out for free. So I'm going to be having a giveaway and the giveaway rules are going to be in my description bar below so please check them there to know how to win and I'm going to be having this giveaway for just one week. I'm going to leave all the information about how to win my win this in the description bar below so please check it out and also I'm going to be leaving all about Madame Glam in the description bar this is not the first time I'm working with this company so trust me for me to have a repeat of their products on my channel then they have to be one of the best I've ever used and I'm going to have all of their information in the description bar for you guys to check if you guys ever want to purchase which I would advise you guys to do because it's really awesome their products are very very affordable and very very good so that's all I have to say for now. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and I love you. Bye-bye.